Hey guys, today I'm working on the Tarifa problem in Cadiz, and in this problem, Pero has a rollover cell data, uh, cellular data plan. Um, so the first line of input we're given contains the integer x, second line of input contains the integer n, and then we have three values of p sub i, the number of megabytes spent in each of the first n months of the plan. So basically, the first number is how many monthly megabytes he's given of data. And then um, in the end line, three for all of these examples, we're given three months of data input uh, before the current month. So here's my Python program just defining and reading in the integer data type variables and then running through a while loop that adds up the monthly usage rolled over to a new total and then prints the total uh, data that he'll have in the current month. So now we're going to do this same problem in C++ using the same logic pretty much. Um, so we're just going to read in the integer x, read in the number of months in, set a counter i, set a total value of 0. So we're going to read in x, read in n, calculate the total in a loop, and then increment i each time we run through the loop, where we read in the monthly usage for each of the n preceding months, uh, subtract that from the monthly allowed data usage, and let's say the monthly usage is more than the allotted monthly data, then it'll be a negative number. But if there's any uh, total left over that rolled over from the previous month, then that'll be reduced from the total rollover megabytes. And then after the loop, of course, we want to add, uh, add the value of x because we're reporting the total megabytes of data available for the current month where we were given data for the three preceding months or in preceding months. So we'll do one final calculation of total plus equals x and then print the total. And after pasting in the sample input and getting the right sample output, this looks like it's good to go. So let's run this in Caddis, and then finally I'll do the same problem in Java. So we know we're going to have to import the Java Utility Scanner class since we're reading in user input, and then just setting up the two standard public class lines, public static void main creating a scanner object from the scanner class, which I'm calling SC. And this won't be a hard-coded value. It will be variable depending on user input. So we have system.in in parentheses, and dot next integer is going to be defined as x integer data type x variable equals sc dot next int. So that's reading in how much data he's permitted in the month and then next we want to read in the number of months. So before our for loop we'll have to define the counter variable, a total, and a monthly usage just like I did in C++. And then setting up the for loop setting the counter variable i to 0 first, the second statement being i less than n, the number of months, and then the third statement incrementing i plus 1 at the end of each loop. And then we're going to read in the monthly usage, sc.nextinteger, 
for each of the I loops. Just looking back at my C++ program to see how I did this. And then uh, total plus equals, so total equals total plus x the data plan per month minus monthly usage, the actual data used. And outside of the for loop, I'm going to do another addition of x for the final month, and then I'll just do that in the same line as the system out dot print line. And there we go. Let's just do a test run with a sample input, make sure it works, and then submit it in Caddis. Oh, and then uh, closing the scanner object, SC. So let's go down here and copy sample input 3 and then paste that into the terminal or sample input 2. Paste get 16, that's the correct answer. So it looks like the program's working as it should. So All right, next time I'm going to kick it up a notch and try a difficult problem. This is the one I'll be taking a look at next time. All right, see you in my next video.